Windows Server 2022. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Pradhan, your friend for this entire series. In today's topic, we're going to continue further regarding the firewall inbound rule that is for ping. Of course, uh, ping is most commonly used command over this network by any system administrator in order to make sure that the connectivity is set properly. Okay, so but sometimes, uh, you know, you need to make sure that ping is not allowed to all the IP address or you might be willing to block the ping because whenever we ping, Okay, it tries to set the communication, it tries to make sure that the connection is set, set properly between source to the destination. But sometimes when we ping and we get the re reply or your server replies to someone else, there might be huge amount of packet that's coming and going from the network even via the ping. So in that case, it might affect your network performance. So in order to use the ping, it's a simple, you see that if you go, go to the command prompt and ping to any server, let's say, google.com so it's going to respond it that means it's going to reply it it with the ip address and you see the loss okay whatever loss connectivity is the entire information is given over here but if i allow anyone to ping to my server in local environment trust me guys sometime your huge amount of packet might be coming and going via your ping that that means your icmp packet so that's why it might affect your network connectivity and the network service so for that I would like to show you how to create the inbound rule it's not only the inbound you can easily create the outbound rule also for the ping so let's go to my client computer over here so right now this is my client computer which I have used last time for creating a firewall policy over here if I ping to the server it's going to reply easily now okay now I am going to show you how to block the ping to any uh, specific IP or the range of IP from your firewall policy of course we already know that we have already gone through the previous video how to create your firewall policy if you have missed that okay for blocking your remote desktop or any other services so i suggest you to go through that video now let's go to firewall.cpl now here we are going to go to the advanced and we have already discussed in our previous video why do we have to come over here what are the other requirements in order to use this firewall policy okay please i suggest you to go through that now let's go to the inbound rule because i want to create the rule that whoever comes to ping my server via outside okay that should be blocked so currently i'd like to show you again still if this client operating system is easily able to communicate with the server that means they are able to get the icmp packet request so let's say ping 192.168.200.200 so it's easily replying this is icmp packet okay now when we go to the server for creating a rule, I'm going to create the inbound rule because I do not want this 200.2 .2 IP to be allowed to ping to my server so that there is no useless network traffic. So this is specific only to the ping. It's not going to block any of the port, okay? So now let's go to new rule. Of course, we are going to the custom, all the program, any no we are going to select icmp version 4 we are not using the IP, icmp 6 now if i go to the customize over here it's mandatory actually if i go to the custom over here you see all IC, icmp types are added over here all, all all that means it will block all the icmp related ports like if i go to specific port it might be uh, the packet which is too big see that's why i told you sometimes the packet for the ping also is quite bigger so this icmp internet control message protocol type it is going to block all of these packets actually but right here we are going to test it only in the lab environment that's a equal request that means the ping when it replies that's a equal request so i would like to use only this one and you don't have to click that because you have already selected over here and you have already clearly mentioned over here that you are going to select only this echo request out of all of this list so i'm going to do okay then next now this is the important screen which i have explained previous video now here it's asking you actually this is your destination this is your source actually that means this is my computer right now for the client it's a destination so i'm going to add my own computer ip 192.168.200.200 okay now this is the local ip actually and this lo local ip whoever comes to ping over here if I write any IP address, that means whoever comes to ping over here, I'm, I'm going to block. But right now, I'm going to block only one IP. That is a 192.168.200.2. That's my Windows 10 machine. So I'm going to specify that IP address over here.
200.2 and what I'm going to do this is the destination this is the source actually right now if you understand properly I would like to block it okay so let's go back again before we implement this one I'm going to ping it to my server okay to that IP address and it's going to respond because there is no firewall policy it's enabled that means ping is allowed but right now we are going to block it now block from where from this IP address okay which I will show you just now go to next and of course we are going to select or apply this rule to the domain public private anyone you want since we're in a lab environment it's better you give one now what I'm going to do uh, let's say block ping from 192.168.200.2 you can give the range of IP that you have already seen in my previous video now it is set now see this policy should be on top otherwise it will not get a it, it, it might get overwritten by the other policy now if I go to my client operating system Windows 10 in order to make sure that the connectivity is set properly you see it's not going to reply it is blocked now ICMP packet is now blocked of course, other communication will take place, but only this ICMP packet is blocked. So if I go to firewall policy again over there, and I right click and disable this one, and again if I continue that work from the client operating system, you see the ping is replying. So this way, it, you can easily create a policy to create any rule, inbound rule, allow to the ping or block to the ping any kind of your ICMP packet that you use over the network the main idea is to stop the large packet that disturbs your network connectivity or the network service so I do believe this was the easy steps for you to create a firewall inbound rule to block any specific IP from pinging that means from using the ICMP packet so if it was easy for you and you understood clearly please do like and subscribe thank you